Hey, what's up, you guys? So it's been a long time since I've been able to make a video. Um, actually, the screen capture software that I've been using has been kind of acting up lately, so I had to go buy a new one, a completely different one, and, and I've been kind of like demoing ones out and seeing which one's best, and I finally found one that I think is going to work pretty well. Um, but anyway, so today what I'm going to talk about is the MB5 Dynamics, and the MB5 Dynamics is a five-band multi-band compressor. Um, it's got really cool functions and where it has like zero latency limiter, right? You got a wet dry knob, you got a hard knee, soft knee, and release characteristics on the limiter. Um, you can even do stereo modes and stuff like that. But a cool thing that I really like about it is how you can bypass solo and mute these uh, different bands. And all you got to do if you want to add one is either do the plus or the minus or click right here. Um, you can even sidechain the actual band right here, sidechain source, to input a different band or itself. You can go from 60B octave slopes all the way to 60, which is really cool. And you can have a really comprehensive uh, tool of, of like finding exact frequencies. You can even zoom in and out and like get really, really in depth on them. But today what I'm going to be using it on is a shaker. And I'm going to show you why. So what I did is I used the gate function on the second band. And the reason why I did that is because I felt the shaker, it sounded really crisp and clear, but I wanted it to have like a kind of filtered vintage sound. And then on the downbeats, it kind of goes back up into a really nice uh, like sheen. So I'm going to play this without any of the effects on it. I'm going to leave the compressor on after, and I'll show you what I mean. So that's the way it sounds, just stop, right? I think, yeah, if you can see right here, the shakers aren't actually processed with anything. That's just how they were recorded. And I believe I used, um, what type of mics did I use? I used a Mojave Audio 201 FET and a... 12 gauge microphone is green 12 just because. Um, and all I'm doing is I'm compressing it after with the uh, ultimate compressor. The real thing that I'm doing right now is I'm using the second band of the Blue Cat Audio MB5. And check this out. So I'm going to solo out the band so it lets you hear what exactly I'm doing or listening to. So as you can hear from that, all I'm doing is I'm really listening to the top of it. Let me mute this and you can hear exactly what's going to be coming out after. So that's the actual sound of the shaker, right? So what I actually did is I used a really low ratio and I kind of tweaked the attack envelope to be super fast and I kind of customized the release to, uh, to kind of like pump the way that I want it to. And I slowly brought up the threshold of the uh, gate and expander or the lower curve. And I kind of made a filtering sound. So check it out what it sounds like now. And what this does is it really kind of makes it like have this like vibe where it now moves. You can hear the shaker, you know, it filters out and then it comes back in and it comes back in just enough so you can hear the detail and then it immediately goes back down. Um, and I found that this gave us some movement and it sounded really cool. So in the mix, it's really simple. So we're gonna do this without it and then I'll bump it in. Have found that he's come back to stay. One thing left on his mind. Turn in April into May. Getting high off the time. So that's it. It's pretty simple and it's pretty easy to do. Um, and as you can see from that, it's really, really cool. Um, all I'm basically doing is I'm literally just making it sound filtered and kind of vintage and retro-y um, by making it like dynamically filtered out the sound. And if anything, I'll show you basically how I did it. Let's make a copy of this. And I'll just open up this one. And we'll start this one stop. So all I really did is the first thing I did is I made two bands. I switched to the second band. And then I just soloed it out and I was listening to what I wanted to capture. So I'll show you. Have found that he's come back to stay. One thing left on. Cool. And then after that, I raise up the ratio a little bit. And I'm doing this from scratch, so I'm not even noticing or paying attention to anything. So we'll set the release to about like 200. Keep the attack at zero, and then we're going to bring this up slowly while we're listening to it.
And there you go. That's pretty much it. All I really did was I kind of like tweaked the ratio, the threshold, and the release function until I got the kind of sound that I wanted. I wanted it to basically sound like it's going in and out, like it's filtering down and then filtering back up. And the whole point of that was that I would get like a nice dynamic sound within the shaker. And then all I did after that was I just compressed it and then like kind of brought up the level. Um, that way I can kind of keep a consistent volume without um, really doing anything too crazy. I could have easily done that too with the actual um, compressor circuit here because we have an upper curve. But I felt like I really didn't want to tweak the envelopes. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This is a really simple and quick tip today. But I just thought it would be really cool and easy to like show you guys how you can make some really creative uh, like effects using this plugin. I love this plugin. To be honest, it's one of my favorite multiband compressors. Um, I use this thing all the time. It's a great de to be honest. And the fact that you have so much control over the octave slopes is really cool. Um, that's about it for today's video, I guess. Uh, if you guys have any questions or any, any kind of like things you guys want me to do, feel free to ask. Um, I have a bunch of other stuff that I'm going to be doing in this session. Uh, this session, by the way, is called The Lost Boy by um, Joe Kaufman. We actually recorded this in his house. This was all done in his house um, using his own like little, like little combo amps and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. It was all basically just done like, like really indie kind of style thing. So definitely check them out. I'll have a links and descriptions below um, to his like channels and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that's it for today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.